Well, man, it's uh, it's finally happened. You're finally with a major promotion on a multi-fight deal. Uh, talk to me about how you're you're doing now that you're uh, you're kind of through the threshold here. Yeah, it's uh, it's fucking sick, man. It's like a, it's a long time coming. I've been doing this stuff for for a long time, many many years. So uh, to finally get here is is great. Um, like I've had the opportunity a couple times, contender series, obviously. Um, didn't work out for me, but to, to be here is it, it feels good. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, for you, uh, was there a certain sense of relief? Like, I'm sure as a young fighter, grinding, trying to get this to be your life, to like, this is your career now. Yeah. So yeah. was there a certain sense of relief that came with this, this signing? I think so. I mean, after that long fighting on regional scene and then like blowing it on contender series twice, it almost feels like that's just going to be my career as like the regional scene fighter. So uh, yeah, to get the call and, and have that contract offered is uh, it's pretty amazing. Now, was MMA your full-time thing, like, as you were building on the regional scene, or did you have to work other jobs, too, or? Uh, so I have my own business, like a nutrition consulting business that I do on the side. It's, like, it's not making me a living by any means, but it's uh, some cash on the side. Um, and then up until maybe, like, three, four years ago, I actually worked in a nutrition clinic as well. So, like, working in an office almost full-time and, and fighting at the same time, too. Yeah, so are you still doing the, your, your business on the yeah, side? Yeah, just my yeah. business. Cool. Yeah. It's probably something that complements it very well. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's great, man. Well, uh, now that you're here, I mean, what do you, what kind of uh, impact do you feel like you can make to this division? Have you kind of checked that out a little bit? Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, I, I want to make a huge impact, right? Like that's that's what everyone wants to do. I want to start winning some fights and working my way up to the top. No doubt. And I mean, uh, Bellator can always use kind of people that are promotable to character. You got the the great hair that yeah. I think everybody on UFC <laughs> Fight Pass crew to love. Uh, yeah. Is that kind of part of it too? Is it important for you as a fighter to 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 stand out too? I mean. To, to kind of have the uh, the personality, so to speak. I think so. I mean, my personality is not much. I'm known for being pretty uh, bland and monotone, but at least the mustache and mullet are, are getting me some attention. <laughs> I mean, the, the Bellator website like has pictures yeah. of everyone, and then it's just yeah. for you. It just has the outline of the hair. I know. I yeah. know. It's great. I, it, everyone always asks me like, how long are you gonna keep it? And I always say like, it's it's career suicide at this point if I cut this stuff off. How long has it been growing? Uh, since the beginning of COVID is when I started oh. growing up the mullet, yeah. Okay, so just gonna keep going? You think we'll ever hit a point where it's like, I gotta get rid of this? Or? Like I said, career suicide if I do. <laughs> maybe, maybe after the fight you career. Retire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's great, man. Uh, talk to me about the fight you have coming up here. Uh, it's a tough, tough matchup. I think uh, when you get to this level, that happens. That's For sure. something you probably expected. Um, you like yeah. It? Yeah, I mean, at this point, there, there's no easy, easy matchups, right? Uh, like, I expect anyone to be a tough fight at this point. Um, Fabio, he's good. He's got a stacked record. He's eighteen and two. He's had a couple fights in Bellator already. Um, he's a grinder. He he fights hard. Like he pushes forward. He grinds guys on the cage. He kind of fights a little bit like me. That's what I've been saying in my interviews. Um, so yeah, I expect it to be a, a tough scrap. Aaron, uh, you mentioned it really. Uh, just your, your reaction. Did you know that they did that with your silhouette? On the, on the website with the mullet and everything? Uh, no, I can't remember. It was these guys out here. They, they just uh, told me it was them. But uh, <laughs> they put it on the website, and then they texted me like a few days later, and they're like, hey, this is on the website. Is that cool? And I'm like, yeah, that's fucking sweet. I love it. And they're like, okay, thank God. We didn't want to piss you off. I'm glad you liked it. It was kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's going to add to folks that, that I mean, the, the Bellator fans, if they're not familiar with you from Fight Pass, they're probably going to... That's obviously, I mean, I know that's your logo and everything too. Mm -hmm. um, this week, it's been um, like, what's it, What's this week been like compared to your fighting career thus far? I mean, the extra media and promotional stuff like that, is, does it motivate you? Is it a pain in the ass? What's, what's your take on it? Um, a little bit of both. I mean, when you're like cutting weight and stuff, uh, some of it can get kind of like tedious and annoying, but uh, it also gets your mind off shit too. Um, like contender series is pretty similar also like there's a bunch of media shit and photo day and all that stuff so uh, I think I'm like kind of getting used to it at this point cool. that's it for me uh, you fought a bunch of tough opponents Bernie Allen, Andre Petrosky do you feel that uh, Fabio Aguilar is your toughest test today? Um, I don't think so I, I, I think those guys are probably tougher and then uh, and Kyle who I just fought recently on contender series too I think these are all like super high level guys like top 10 top 20 fighters in the world uh, I, I would probably put those guys above him but uh, like to take nothing away from him I think he's a great opponent too and uh, how is Tommy Theo Karras helped you in preparation for this bout and he wanted me to ask you if you think he's tough <laughs> Tom Bomb Tom Bomb's a great guy man um, I didn't see him quite as much this camp as I would have liked to I was down in Florida for a bit and then I came back and he kind of lives far away from me but uh no, me, me and him chat every day and uh, talk a lot of shit to each other. He's a good guy. And he's tough? He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Right. Great. Sweet. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you.